Hello everyone! Today we are going to read a story with Paw Patrol called Sea Patrol to the Rescue. One sunny morning, the Paw Patrol were at the new beach tower headquarters. Maya Goodway had asked the pups to be Adventures Bay's new lifeguard rescue team. She wanted them on duty during her luau that afternoon. Will be the Sea Patrol, Ryder announced. But before you can save anyone, you'll have to earn your lifeguard badges. Ready, set, get wet, barked Zuma. For the lifeguard test, the pups didn't rescue a person. They took turns swimming through a course of floating buoys and rescuing a pineapple named Mr. Prickly. One by one, each pup earned a badge until it was Rocky's turn. That's okay, he said. I don't like getting wet. You can't be a lifeguard without getting wet, Sky said. Hmm, Rocky said to himself. We'll see about that. Instead of swimming, Rocky jumped from boy to boy, then threw a life ring around Mr. Prickly. He pulled the pineapple in and hopped back to shore without getting wet. Cool rescue technique, Ryder said. But if you want to earn your lifeguard badge, you have to swim. Rocky was happy to be a land guard. I know you can do this, Ryder said. If you don't feel up to it now, you can try again later. Meanwhile, Captain Turbot was out at the sea feeding Wally the Walrus. Here's some more juicy jellyfish jerky, he said. He didn't realize that the baby octopus was stuck to the side of his chum bucket. Suddenly... The water started churning and Captain Turbot's boat, the flounder, began to rock. Giant tentacles reached out of the waves and wrapped around the boat. Great gushing geezers, I need the Paw Patrol, Captain Turbot exclaimed and he called Ryder. Ryder told the pups about Captain Turbot's boat. The Sea Patrol is on a roll. Um, Ryder, how are we going to get out of the flounder? Rubble asked. Ryder pushed a button on his pup pad. The beach tower shook as a huge ship called the Sea Patroller detached from it. Robodog was at the controls and he loaded Zuma's and Rubble's special sea vehicles onto it. Ryder, Rubble, Zuma and Marshall hopped aboard and the Sea Patroller sped to the rescue. The sea patroller reached the troubled flounder. Zuma and Rubble hid the waves in their new sea vehicles. Zuma tried to pull the tentacles off Captain Turbo's boat with his vehicle's mechanical arms, but the sea monster was too strong. Ryder had an idea. He told Robodog to sound the sea patroller's horn. Wah! The startled sea monster released the flounder and slid back below the ocean's surface. Hooray! Everyone cheered. But just then, the flounder started to sink, and Captain Turbot was still on it. Rubble used his crane to pluck Captain Turbot over the deck just as the boat slipped under the waves. The pups and I will do everything we can to raise the flounder, Ryder promised. As Rubble headed back to land, no one noticed the little stowaway stuck to Captain Turbot's life ring. Marshall put on his scuba gear, dived into the water, and went to work. He found the sunken flounder and started pumping it full of air from his tanks. The boat floated up towards the surface. As Marshall watched the boat rise, something shiny caught his eye. Was it undersea treasure? He picked it up with his mechanical claw and shook it. It's a baby rattle, he exclaimed. Meanwhile, Captain Turbot was back on Adventure Beach, trying to cheer himself up and Maya Goodway's luau. But while he looked for something to eat, the baby octopus jumped off him and landed on Maya Humdinger's head. Help! the Maya shouted. Get it off! Just then, the sea monster rose out of the waves. Sky took to the air with her parasail to distract it while Rubble built a sand wall to protect the beach goers. When Ryder arrived, he saw that the sea monster was actually an octopus and it was squinting. It's looking for something, but it can't see very well. 
Well, keep it away from me, muttered Mayor Hamdinger. I don't want that on my head too. Then Ryder realized the giant octopus was the little octopus mother. We need to get that baby back to his mom. But first, they had to get the baby off Meyer Hamdinger's head. Marshall remembered the rattle he'd found and started shaking it. The baby octopus reached for the toy. But because Meyer Hamdinger couldn't see, he accidentally knocked the rattle into the ocean. Someone had to go get that rattle. I can find it with my metal detector, said Rocky. Are you sure, Rocky? Ryder asked. You'll have to swim and get wet. If getting wet will help the baby octopus get back to his mom, I can do it, Rocky declared. He extended his metal detector, bravely dived into the water and found the rattle. Shaking the toy, Zuma boarded the sea patroller with Ryder and headed away from the beach. The little octopus followed the rattling noise and her mother followed her baby. Out in the deep water, the mother and baby found each other and hugged. Ryder quickly made eyeglasses out of two punch bowls from the luau. Now the mother could always find her baby. The sea patrol had worked together and saved the day. Back on the beach, everyone cheered for the puffs and for Captain Turbo's newly repaired flounder. Thank you, Paw Patrol, said Maya Goodway. You saved the beach and the party. I think Rocky deserves the biggest thank you, said Ryder. He got wet to save the day and earned this. Ryder pinned a lifeguard badge to Rocky's vest. All the pups howled and hooray for their brave friend. The end. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the story. Don't forget to like and subscribe. More interesting stories are coming every week. Bye.